Oh, there he is. I have a light on the back of here. Hi, Tam. So, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Yeah, I apologize for all that, uh, that I won't be able to do all this tonight, but I'm running late. And, you know, what I think is that it would be prudent if I just go on and answer all these questions, then uh, she's going to say, oh, you know, he's just attacking me and they're setting me up. And I think we need some context for why all this is happening in the first place, right? Right. right. In the first place because she's making a hobby out of slandering, uh, you know, people on this platform, and including me, and doxing people and everything else. You know? So um, I would like to cover some of that that's happened and, um, and then talk about it, you know, before we go into uh, the stuff, you know, that you've asked me. I would oh, like to do it all. But, um, you know, I, I think uh, it's, it's important for us all to talk about this. And, um, explain why everyone has gotten to this place with Michelle because what Michelle is doing now, she's she's making she, she's she's on this crusade that everyone is against her and she didn't do anything wrong. You know, I'm, I was watching earlier today when I had a minute. I watched the video that you did when she had all that information on Molly, like she had found how much was on her mortgage. I mean, oh, yeah. it's fucking unbelievable, shocking. Like it's just this is how sick and psychotic this person is. So I, I think it's important that she understand when her as she's telling her viewers to go and look, you know, and your ex husband's gonna come on or whatever. I'm not doing this. I, I can share less what, what is happening to her. And from what I can see, her life is in, in a spiral. It's, it's in a terrible situation. And uh, I really could care less. I mean, she made her bed. She can lie in it. I don't care. All I say is don't fuck with me. And, 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 that, and that's exactly. And, and I think also she's messed with you guys. And she's, um, you know, she, she's, she's harassed people. She's, it's just, it's, 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 um, it's very unfortunate. But anyway, that's that's what I'm here to address. I, I also, you know, there's a lot of interesting things, like, for example, you know, why all these autopsies, why did all this weird stuff happen around the death? And I think that's worth talking about because it is weird. And it was so weird. You have to understand that county in Mississippi is one of the most corrupt counties in the United States. Right. Mississippi is one of the most corrupt states. It's the lowest education level. It's, got, it's the highest poverty. And uh, we were living down on the coast by New Orleans because a lot of people live uh, just from across the border because it's convenient and there's you know b better housing and less crime, so on and so forth. But but that community where we were living, when you engage the legal system there, it's extremely corrupt. So I don't know everything that happened. And I, I wish I would have. I think part of what happened is, and I'll just touch on this briefly and we'll talk about it more tomorrow. But I was told by very reliable sources as all this was going on that that's, that was not my son and, and, and I needed to get a DNA test. And so I asked my lawyer, to, to, what should we do? You know, And so um, what happened was, um, the, 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 the autopsies and everything were still going on. And she made a huge stink saying that um, all they wanted to do was swab the inside of the baby's mouth. That's it. That's all they wanted to do. And, mm -hmm. and she, I don't know how she was able to do it, but she stopped them and she told everybody, you're not going to touch my baby. Now she's asked for three autopsies, which are very invasive procedures, mm -hmm. but, 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 but yeah, her, she, she just was not going to let that happen. In the end, I, you know, to be honest, I really didn't want to know because I love that. I love that baby. And I, I delivered the baby. I cut his umbilical cord. I brought him into the world. And let me tell you, when I brought him into the world, he wasn't crying. He wasn't crying. He had to be uh, uh, Babinski. They had to Babinski him to get to get him moving. You know, they had to rake an uh, instrument across the bottom of his foot because mm -hmm. uh, because he, he didn't spontaneously uh, start crying because he was a high, he was high risk. And, and like I say, she she smoked and smoked pot and did all kind of crazy stuff. And like I said, when when it, they came and pulled me aside the day we were supposed to leave, and they said, and I don't know, I, I don't know when they did. I think maybe they came and said we need a urine test, and they didn't tell her why. But they pulled me out of the room, and they're like, she can't sign the baby out. And here's why: she she's positive for marijuana. And I think it may have been something else. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember. I remember it was, I was pretty shocking to me, but I knew that I knew that she had, or at least I suspected that she had done that stuff. So, but I, you know, to me, like I say, I was gone during the three years I knew Michelle, I was gone probably 75% of the time because of my job. So there was a lot of times when I wasn't there. I don't know what she was doing, you know, but anyway, I, I hope you guys, <laughs> I really don't. And it, it. Turns out, it, it turns out like, like Sean Coughlin, who I told you about, and I don't mind saying his name. Uh, right. Okay. The timing of all that, is just about right for, for, for the baby. And what I mean by that is she didn't tell me until like January of that, of that year that it happened. And the day she told me is the day I left. And, right. but, but it happened a long time before then it had happened like a year, you know, 10 or 11 months beforehand. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I, I don't know. I don't really feel like getting into speculation and conjecture. Oh, I'm sure it's going to launch her to the moon and it should. And, and we should okay. gauge her reaction when all this shit hits her. Well, she, because she's saying right now that you are an impersonator. You're a fake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do when I come back on tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll hold up my driver's license with my picture oh. and I'll cover up the date and, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be one even better. What I can show you tomorrow is my entire veterans ID card because I'm a veteran wow. and, I, and I get veteran yeah. free health care and I can show you that because there ain't a fucking thing she can do about that. Yeah. So I'll be, when I come on tomorrow, I'll show you my ID with my name. And, uh, you know, that, that, that doesn't much. I don't care. I mean, this is her deflecting. It's not him, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not here for her. I'm here right. because she brought all this shit back up again and she wants to rake all her exes over the coals and guess what i really don't care i don't give a fuck who she was with before i don't care nothing but when you drag my name into it and, and bring all this shit back up again and there's all this unfinished business regarding how our son passed away and all this crazy shit she did 
during our divorce, well, you know, I guess it's time for her to, to get to the bottom of some of that stuff. And I will. And I will. Because I'll tell you, she's not in a position right now to do shit. It's just like when she was threatening Molly about, uh, you know, getting a lawyer, about um, finding all this information about her mortgage. And she said she was calling Hershey police and all this freaking wacko shit. She can't afford that. <laughs> she can't afford to go and obtain a lawyer for a civil case or anything other kind of case. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what, if she does find out where I'm at, I encourage her to call the cops down here. Because let me tell you something. I know them. All right. And, 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 and it would be very easy for me to show them her background. And, and her and, and so, you know, it's just it's let her try. I don't care. I'm not I'm not going to advertise, but I'm just going to say I have more resources than she does. And I, and I don't want to do this. I really don't. I don't want to do this. I'm going to say what I have to say tomorrow. I'm going to I already uh, put the privacy strike against her channel. I've already, I'm going to call. I've already been in contact initially uh, with the lawyer's name that you gave me. I, I know I have her address. so I can find out what county she lives in. I'm going to find out what steps are necessary for me to serve her. And I'm going to do that. And so we'll just see how it goes, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, just, I don't know if you got my text tonight, but yeah, I, so supposedly one of her mods found your address. So just a heads up. On okay. That. Well, I can tell you what, whatever address is listed is not where I live. So have fun with that. Since I've been with, since I left her, I have never lived where my address says ever. So yeah. have fun with that because it's never where I live. So anyway, yeah. I, it doesn't matter. You know, let her try, let her try. That's all I can say. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so okay. thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll, you know, what I, like I say, what I'd like to do is if you can get some input from your subscribers regarding, um, some of this, you know, her track record there, because I would like to talk about that. I think a lot of people, I think one of the things that's happened is there's never been like a, con- a concerted amalgamation of all the crazy shit she's done. There's just little odds and ends. So the people that subscribe to her channel are just seeing this little stuff. No, oh, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. And I think it needs to be covered in detail. This look at all the stuff. This per- Literally, if you go look her name up on YouTube, she has more hits than fucking Logan Paul. I mean, that, <laughs> yeah. Paul fucking bad. And she, she does more than Logan Paul does, who has four million subscribers. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. I, mean, I, I mean, this is I'm, what I'm talking about is different content creators covering what she's doing, not what her own created content is i'm talking about there are literally over a hundred just since like the 7th of september there's over a hundred videos about the terrible shit she's up to i can't believe she doesn't realize this she doesn't realize but she always does this see she always bites off more than she can chew and it always ends bad for her every fucking time and that's exactly what's going to happen here you know but she doesn't have any kids to lose now so she doesn't care she knows her house is going to be gone so she you know she doesn't care just hey michelle if you're listening to me eat another xanax drink another bottle of tito's that this is it seems like what you do right now but you see me you see my face i'm stone cold sober i don't drink i don't use drugs i'll take you on all day long all day long bring it Mm. bring it because this time it ain't working out that way this time i ain't got nothing to lose either my kid is grown my kid is grown i don't know you shit so come on bring it all right thanks a lot i'll talk to you guys tomorrow yeah thank you for coming up get some rest all right all right thank you well, there you have it, guys. Woo, buddy. He's he looking good. Wow. Thank you, yep. Mr. Trimble. Thank you. Good. I'm proud and of him. If she Just wants to keep the night, I'm proud of her. all the mods.